Hi everyone, this is Jason from Realm Space Gaming, and today we're going to be showing you how to get into the nightclub in Stray. Before that, however, take note that we are giving away a standard edition copy of Stray. There's a link in the description to enter the giveaway, but look out for a hidden code in this video that'll grant you an extra chance to win. If you've arrived at Midtown in Stray, you'll know that there's a nightclub with a bouncer positioned at the front door and seemingly no way to enter. That's because unless you've reached a certain stage of quest progression, you actually can't get into the nightclub. To find out if you're able to enter, all you need to do is proceed down an alleyway to the right of the club. If you see a friendly robot sitting on the rooftop awning as you go past, it means that the club is open, and all you have to do is jump onto the dumpster, up onto the rooftop, across the pipes, and onto the plank by the window. There, you'll speak to a robot named Alex, who will move away from the window, allowing you to enter the club. If, however, there is no robot on the rooftop, it means that you've got a bit more work to do first, so watch on to see what you need to do. Be advised, because this next segment covers gameplay, spoilers for this part of the story will follow. When you first arrive in Midtown, you need to go find a robot named Clementine. She's one of the outsiders. To get to her, simply run your way straight through town and to the right, where you'll find three robots gathered around a tree in a courtyard. The one sitting by the tree is named Simon, and has a collection of music tapes. You'll need one going forward, so listen to his request. There are three security cameras in the vicinity, and they want you to jump onto each of them to knock them off the walls. You can do this before or after visiting Clementine. To get to Clementine, simply run up the stairs to the top of the apartment block, then cross the gap, and jump into the hole in the window. Here, you'll meet Clementine who has a plan to acquire a battery to power the train, allowing you to continue your journey. First, you have to speak to her contact though. His name is Blazer. To find him, you'll need to make your way back down to ground level. This is a good time to destroy the cameras and get the tape to take with you. Then head out into the street, turn left at the hologram, and run down the road until you see a clothing store on your right. Enter the alleyway to the left of the clothing store and meet with Blazer, the robot with the gold chain and the jacket. Show him the contact message and he'll give you a quest. He wants you to go steal a worker jacket and a worker helmet. To get these items you need to head back to the clothing store next to where you found Blazer. This is where you can steal the jacket but only if the shop owner is distracted by loud music. So go to the changing rooms at the back and insert the tape you got from the courtyard into the cassette. Then steal the jacket when he goes looking for the source of the noise. Next, you'll need to steal a worker's helmet from the hat store, but don't go looking for the store just yet as you won't be allowed in. First, you'll need to go back up the road towards the hologram. Turn right as if to go toward the courtyard with the tree and turn left to enter the bar. In the back room, you'll find a hungover sleeping robot. He's your ticket into the hat shop, so climb up onto the shelf and give him a rude awakening. Now you can follow him over to the hat shop. He does take his time to get there however, so a little patience may be required. Once you're there, jump into one of the boxes and let him carry you inside where you can steal the helmet. Now you can head back to Blazer, who will dress up in the disguise you've bought him and carry you into the Neko Corporation's factory. Here, you'll have to evade security sentinels and make your way to a puzzle room. You'll need to move around a couple of boxes and an oil drum and then steal the battery to make your escape. Now you have to return to Clementine with the battery, but the nightclub still isn't open. First, you have to go back up the road to Clementine's apartment only to find the place under security lockdown. No doubt they're looking for the thief who stole the battery. Meow. You'll have to evade the security sentinels and make your way to the top back into Clementine's apartment. Once in, you'll find a clue that points you toward four other clues. A smoker, a crystal, a traffic cone on a mannequin, and a hot lava lamp. These will tell you that Clementine is with Blazer in the nightclub. Doing this will finally have unlocked the nightclub for you and when you next pass it, you'll see the robots from the courtyard queued out front. Simon will tell you that there's a route round the back and sure enough you'll see the robot sitting on the awning roof and Alex waiting for you at the open window. Hopefully you can now find your way into the nightclub. As usual, our goal is to give you the best information quickly and let you jump straight back into the game. So if you like that, hit the like button and subscribe for more Stray.
My name is Jason, and here's a big thank you from everyone at Realm Space Gaming for watching, and don't forget to enjoy the rest of your day.